Wow, I've been using Firefox Quantum for a few days and it's blown me away. I was getting really tired of how buggy Chrome has been, and previous releases of Firefox seemed painfully slow in comparison. Since I no longer trust Google anymore at all, I was stoked to try the new Firefox. And I'm glad to say that this, this is the browser I've been waiting for. So without further ado, here are six things I love about Firefox Quantum. The new icon featuring those hip sexy gradients, the new Photon UI. The fact that there's a separate URL and search bar leaves no room for want, in my opinion. There are simple animations that are both unobtrusive and informative. The updated interface is clean and respects your screen real estate, and it's just awesome. Also, I love how the library now keeps everything organized. Firefox Quantum is just fabulous. I hate having to install extensions in my browser. They slow your browsing down and overall clutter up the interface if you want to keep them readily accessible. And you know, the built-in Ubuntu screen capture tool can be okay, but it can sometimes be unwieldy, especially when having to capture an entire web page, which I often need to do for the show. Enter this new tool that makes my life that much easier. You can automatically capture individual elements of a page or save the entire thing. This native capture tool is sure to save me tons of time and hassle. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but I'm a web developer, among other things, at my day job. I use many of the major browsers on a daily basis, but my preferred inspection tool has always been, and remains to this day, Firefox. It's intuitive and powerful, and when I need to check my CSS rules or reverse engineer a cool effect I discovered on another website, Firefox has always proved itself the most capable. There's more here now than there ever has been with Quantum. The responsive design capabilities, the color picker, which I'm pretty sure is new to this release. Yeah, it's just awesome. Firefox no longer supports add-ons as we've known them, which I think is a net positive in terms of user privacy and security. The new extensions are kind of sandboxed and limited in what they can access on your system. And if you find after you upgrade that your favorite add-on isn't working any longer, you can check out the legacy add-ons in the settings and click this handy find a replacement button. Though I will say that there is one add-on that I'm missing. It's HTitle. It removed the title bar from Firefox and GNOME. Oh well. I've seen head-to-head -head comparisons that put Firefox in real competition with Chrome. That's a lot better than it used to be. Firefox used to have brutally slow page rendering times. Now, it's a race to the rendering finish line and it's neck and neck the whole way. And that's okay by me. Firefox is one of the most visible and popular examples of free software in the world. When I talk about free and open source software to my friends, family, and coworkers, yes, I'm that annoying person, Firefox is one of the first examples I give. Over the last few years, most people I know have switched to Chrome. Hell, I largely had as well. And that's a fact that I've lamented. But not anymore. I've always been a Firefox fan, and the fact that Quantum lives up to my every expectation proves just how powerful free and open source software can be. I'm going to be switching all the computers at work over to Quantum helping all my friends and family switch. And of course, using Firefox as my preferred browser too. But what do you think? Are you gonna be helping your friends and family make the switch? Leave me a comment and let me know or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. I wanna take a second and thank my amazing patrons for their monthly support of this show. Their contributions directly make my work easier and allow me to focus more of my time and energy on the channel. So thanks. If you'd like to contribute, you can click on the link on the screen right here. Make sure you subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. And as always, thank you so much for watching.